Stephen Carr getting the start at running back. They've really struggled to run the ball, so they're going to give it to Carr on first down, and he gets six yards. They had negative five yards on the ground last week in their loss against Texas. Then Carr from the 24-yard line. They go back to the ground. Malapai, a first down carry to the 12-yard line. A tight. Malapai again to the outside. Another huge running lane. He's close to another first down. Oh. You were growing up watching Bush and Lindell White. Man, that makes me feel old. <laughs> Malapai walking into the end zone. What an opening possession. All run plays for the Trojan. This week, wanting them to be more physical and impose their will at the line of scrimmage. Ball on the ground, bad snap, and then Stephen Carr gets smoked. His knee was down anyway. Tago hit him. To press the panic button, we have a young team that's trying to grow together. On third and 11, wow, Daniels gets eaten alive by Peyton Pallor. Hands, and that's something JT Daniels will learn as he continues to progress. Yeah, you saw Brian Ellis, the quarterback coach, looked like he was telling him that exact thing. Excellent punt, and the fair catch made by Harris near the Washington State 45-yard line. Personal foul, face mask, kicking team, number 59, 15-yard penalty, first down, Washington State. It was a fifth-round draft choice. Pass into traffic is pulled in by Calvin, his second catch. Correct buttons of this team. On third down, back the throw goes Minshew, pass tipped at the line, incomplete, fourth down. Right on cue. From 50 yards would have been good from at least another five yards for Blake Mazza. Careless mistakes. And Daniels will throw on first down. And it's a strike out to the 20-yard line for Tyler Vaughns to the 22. It's a seven-yard game. Establishing the line of scrimmage early in the game. And they do pound it on second and short. Big hit, though, on the running back, Malapai. And a physical team up there in Minneapolis. Third and short, they keep it on the ground. Malapai trying to pick a hole, it's not there. Stood up by Peyton Pallor. Series in this one. Butterich to punt. Harris gonna let this one bounce, and it sticks at the 40-yard line and goes out of bounds. So Washington State back in offense after only a 36-yard punt. On third and 10, Minshew. With a ton of time, receiver comes open. And fighting for the first down marker is Desmond Patman. We'll see where forward progress was stopped. Going to be a pass play. Minshew to Williams out in space. And he gets the first down. Nineteenth catch on the year for Williams. They do like to throw it to him out of the backfield. Could be four down territory here. Minshew pass tipped at the line and it hits the ground. Peely couldn't locate it. Fourth down. Now we again we saw Blake Massa just make a 50 yarder. It would have been good from 55. This would be about a 60 yarder or so. Get him working against man coverage. There it goes. Minshew with a clean pocket hits Patman. It's a first down. So they've converted on fourth down twice on this drive. First down to the 31 yard line. What the pass? Here come the Trojans on second down. Minshew gets it away. Borgie has to adjust and has the football at the 22-yard line. That was a nice catch. They're going to run it. Williams gets the first down. Inside the 20, down to the 17-yard line before he's wrapped up and brought down by Kanai Mauga, true freshman linebacker. Box, they'll probably try to throw it. They fake the run. Here's Patman out in space. Breaks a tackle and gets the first down. First and goal. So the run sets up the pass. Maybe Mike Leach is tired of hearing about guys like Lincoln Riley, all of his protégés that are balanced on offense. So he Three, four, five, six. There's six defenders in the box. They might try to throw it. Nope, they run it. Williams powers his way into the end zone. Touchdown. 
Forget the box count. <laughs> Who cares? C faced with some adversity again, down 10-7. And the true freshman, Daniels, unloading it downfield. Pulled in inside the 35 by Bayless Jones. February of 2000, 18 years old. Daniels going to take a shot down the sideline, and it's knocked away, but a flag. Marcus Strong covering Tyler Vaughn's. It'll be interference on Strong. So first and goal from the 10-yard line. And Daniels to the end zone, back shoulder. What a catch by Vaughn's. Touchdown, SC. Washington State's been prepared to answer. Yeah, they have, Tom. They've done a nice job of hitting the curveballs thrown at them by SC. Trojans bring pressure up the middle and the pass away. Oh, what a grab! Going down is Aesop Winston on a throw to his back shoulder. Minshew with a ton of time. Rifles it complete into SC territory to Calvin. He'll step out at the 47-yard line, able to move the sticks. Going to try to pressure you, but no one's been able to get home yet. Minshew on a shovel pass, and it's broken up. It's intended for Borgie. <laughs> Tui Pelotu jumped on the ball, but it was a pass. It's an incomplete forward pass. I think it's a fumble. SC coming up the middle with pressure from Houston. And Minshew throws a strike. Winston again down the seam inside the 30-yard line. That's a 19-yard pickup. Yep. An opportunity to play, and so he came to Washington State. And another great throw with pressure in his face. Complete to Winston for the touchdown. And Minshew is tough. There was pressure from Hufanga right in his grill. Not handled momentum shifts and success well so far in the first half. Daniels off play action, going downtown. Middle of the field, picked off. Oh, the ball was dropped. It was going to be intercepted. There's a flag down, too. Skylar Thomas dropped the interception. Baylor. Holding defense, number 44. Ten-yard penalty. First down. That's 30 for Jalen Thompson. They felt they had a mismatch uh, with, with Thompson trying to defend the receivers for USC. Because he plays so tight and are expected to play at a high level in their first campaign. Daniels climbing the pocket, taking a shot. Another flag. Thomas. Amon Ra St. Brown has been quiet tonight, SC. Pass interference. Defense, number 25. 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. I believe that he'll get there eventually, and this coaching staff believes it, but you got to see it to believe it. Goes way over the head of Daniels, and Carr tries to pick it up, and then he lost the ball. Washington State jumped on it, but they're going to say that Carr was down before the ball came out. Second down and 27, Aka Cedric Ware, his first carry of the game, and he gets taken down by Logan Tago for a loss of about four yards another negative play for the Trojans a two-man rush and they actually get pressure on Daniels he dumps it off to where he's brought down got just four yards on the play so no not number 35 not Cameron Smith pass behind Williams he makes the catch you know some guys as Cameron Smith makes the tackle again some guys when they intern in college you know they they pick the field they want to go in, and they, they say, you know, I'm going to go intern at Microsoft. I'm going to get a broadcasting intern at a TV station. Can't. Third and three. Minshew to the sideline where it's caught for a first down by Jameer Calvin. Outlets are. It's remarkable to watch in such a short period of time. Borgie trying to find a running lane. He breaks a tackle and gets the first down. Marvell Tell's got to make that play in the hole. He's supposed to be USC's best player in the secondary, but he... Minshew on second down and six. And again, the receiver able to separate. Patman gets away from Greg Johnson. It's a first down. This is in rhythm, especially this offense. It's really tough to stop. Minshew with a ton of time in the pocket. Going downfield. And a great catch by Sweet.
Got leveled by Harris, but hung onto the ball for a gain of 17. Here's Williams. Gets drilled at the eight yard line, but hangs onto the ball. Keeps the feet churning. Minshew caught by Patman for a touchdown. And the Cougars extend their lead. Pat. Gardner Minshew with 10 touchdown passes on the season, two in this game. He was 7 of 9 for 54 yards on. Oh, that is classic. Daniels, open receiver, caught near midfield. Michael Pittman, his ninth catch of the season. Daniels going to the other sideline. That was cleared out by Vaughns, and that left the receiver, Sidney, wide open. Trayvon Sidney, his sixth catch of the year, and he moves the chains. Shown some talent. Just hasn't had an opportunity to kick a field goal. Daniels facing pressure. That was a tremendous throw to Vaughns for a first down. Nuances to running out the clock at the end of half is something JT Daniels is learning. Daniels going to get creamed. Wallop back at the 38-yard line, put him out of field goal range. They'll use a timeout. And now we've got a safety over the top of him. They've only targeted him once, Tom, in this game. But they're going to throw it to him here, and Daniels overshot him. That would have been a touchdown. Trojans here. Boy, a little surprise they're going for it, although they're going to get a free play here. So Daniels throws it up for grabs in the end zone, and another flag. Harper interferes with Pittman. There are multiple fouls on the play, both on the defense. Offside, defense, number 47. That penalty will be declined. Pass interference, defense, number two. 15 yards, automatic first down. And this right here is amazing. Another bad snap. Daniel scoops, fires complete. Vaughn steps out inside the 10-yard line with 10 seconds to go. Back to back yourself up. Michael Brown no field goal tries, but he has made a couple extra points tonight. Here's a shot to the end zone, and no play, no flag on the play. Vaughn's covered by Darian Moulton, so that takes four seconds off the clock. Six seconds to go in the half. Find a zone, and looks like that might be what they're doing here. There it is. Daniels, Pittman! Incomplete with no time on the clock. Now, they'll look at it to see if they should add a second. I thought it was a good call by the back judge in real time. We'll see what this replay has to say. It looked like, Tom, there was a little space between the toe and the goal line. Is that indisputable to you? It's not indisputable to me. So if I were the lead official, I would say the play stands is called, and then I would look at how much time might be added to the clock or if it's the end of half. I think, I think he knows this is going to stand. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Incomplete pass. Game clock operator, will you please put two seconds back on the clock? Two seconds. Yeah, you, have... you can't come away empty-handed. First career field goal attempt for Michael Brown. And it's good at the gun. Second down and seven. Minshew's pass off target, incomplete. There's a flag. It looked like Porter Dustin was offside. And try this. Yeah. <laughs> it works. Minshew going to dump it off to Williams. Boy, there's no one covering him. How can you not have the back, the outlet receiver, John Houston on the tackle? Needs to be felt. On second down and seven, Minshew dumps it off to Keith Harrington. First down for the third string running back. Shave the edge and make it a sharper angle to the quarterback. Play fake, a wide receiver screen to Winston who breaks free inside the 25 yard line before he's tracked down by Talanoa Hufung. A heck of a quarterback in Ryan Leaf. No doubt. Over the middle and a broken tackle. Harris on the catch, picks up about eight yards to the 16 yard line. On third and two, Minshew with a quick toss, and it's caught by Martin for a first down. It was in the early season, but this offense might be operating better tonight than it has all year. Here's Borgia, a huge running lane, 
and he runs over Hufanga into the end zone for the touchdown. That's twice now. Borgie's only 190 pounds, but he has taken on USC defenders and won. Low center of gravity and difficult to bring down. True freshman from Colorado and no good on the point after. Bad exchange. And so on the helmets of all the Washington State players. And Hunter Dale, the defender, has a tattoo of his number as the quarterback. JT Daniels keeps it, picks up about eight yards. Here's Daniels on second down and three. Open is St. Brown. Haven't called his name often. Amon Ra St. Brown. It's a first down. And up. Play action. Here's Pittman, and Pittman gets away from the defender, Harper. Stiff arms the defender, just mauls him into the end zone. Touchdown, SC. Touchdown. USC to start. He's very mature, though, for his age, you can tell. Here's Carr again, trying to get that running game going, which they did to open the game. And Carr out to the 44-yard line for about seven yards. Fishing, just got to eliminate the negative plays. USC with its first third down conversion of the night. The Trojans were 0 for 5 before that run by Stephen Carr, which moves the chains out to the 47-yard line. And recreate the line of scrimmage. Daniels hits Bonds, who they've been targeting a ton in this game. It's a good pickup of about seven yards into Washington State Territory. LA in high school to help become a better receiver. Throw a little bit low, going down as Jones to get it and rule the catch right at the first down marker. To read about this family and Equinamius and Osiris, they're really talented. Good job with the pronunciations there. That pass off target, but a flag. Petit, the intended receiver. And Marcus Strong, different. Holding, defense, number four. Ten-yard penalty, automatic, first down. So they get strong for the penalty. Go ahead, Tom. Yeah, it's amazing. Another bad snap, and that, that should be a penalty, shouldn't it? Tago hit, and there's the flag. Tago hit JT Daniels. He gave himself up. He was down on the ground, and when the quarterback's down on the ground, you can't come in late and hit him. They also might need to look at here. This might be targeting. No doubt. Because you that. see him go down, and that's forcible contact to the head or neck area. So not only is this a 15-yard penalty, but Togo might have just played his last snap. Now, they're, they need to look at this. Yeah. It wasn't called to. on the field, but they're going to. I think it's a it's a lineman, Brett Nealon, in there at fullback right now. He puts on a different jersey. Normally wears 62, but he's wearing 99 right now. He blocks for Steven Carr off the right side and picks up three yards before he's brought down by Peyton Pallor. There's a penalty marker down in the backfield. Holding, offense, number 77. 10-yard penalty remains. First down. Justin at the line of scrimmage, he stepped to his left. They should have been stepping to his right, given where everyone else was going on the offensive line. First and 20, play fake for Daniels, throwing it into the end zone. It's caught. St. Brown, touchdown, ties the game. One touchdown pass the first three games of the season. He's got three tonight, including that one to Amon Ross, St. Brown, and the Trojans are back in front schools where they starred just a year ago. Both true freshmen here in 2018. Minshew going downfield, caught! Winston on the run! And they finally get to him inside the 20-yard line. What a response by Washington State. On second and six, Minshew pumps, looks, now goes to the back. Borgie inside the 10. Tries to stretch out and get the first down. He'll be short, so it's third down and one. Cameron Smith brought up. He could be trying to work a throw here. That's Williams hitting the backfield. Got to be close. Rector was there first, cleaned up by Cameron Smith. He is short. 
Minshew keeps it. Great ball fake by Minshew. Gets the first down. First and goal on the five-yard line. Well, you can see it right here. Lined up in one-on-one. -on -one. Yep, he's looking that way. He's covered, though, so Minshew now rolling the other way. In trouble at the 10, but finds an open man in the end zone for a touchdown. It's Winston. He found a, just now that they drew it up, but it's the go-ahead score. So the J.N.A. Harris runs out there late. Washington State going for two. Minshew passes high. Incomplete, intended for Tay Martin. Cougars, these guys can play. Nine wins a year ago. Here's Carr on the return for SC. Finds a running lane past the 30, carries defenders past the 40-yard line. Anything that are just completely debilitating offensively. They're going to run it. Malapai on first down. Breaks a tackle at midfield. Jukes a defender inside the 40 all the way to the 35. They're here. See what he draws up on third down and 10. And Daniels into double coverage. Oh, my, what a catch by Vaughns. How did he pull that in? He took a shot at two guys on him. He's to the 12. Tomorrow night on ABC. And a big one tonight on ESPN. USC trying to get back to 500. Daniels to the end zone for Pittman. And it's knocked away, but a flag on Harper. Pass interference. Defense, number three. Have to pay eye behind him. Looks like Daniels changing things up on first down and goal. Now Pay Payai gets the call, and he gets paid dirt. Touchdown, SC. The Trojans retake the lead. More green grass than the last time they ran it. Now Payai with a second touchdown tonight, five on the season. Now Daniels to throw, looking for two points. Back of the end zone, another great catch by Vaughn. It counts. It's in large part due to the play by both quarterbacks. And that last play was there. Calvin just could not come up with the football. Second down and 10. Minshew to the air again. Pressure. Patman comes free across the middle. Tackled short of the line to gain. SC rushes four. Down the sideline. Nearly picked off by Hufanga. If that pass had more air on it, it's a walk-in touchdown for Renard Bell because he... ...up with all the time you can take off that play clock if you're USC. That's why I thought it was such a risk there to try to take the clock down and call a timeout perhaps and burn your last timeout if yep. you're Washington State. As Carr gets out to the 25-yard line, it'll be third and manageable for those guys to run it and give your quarterback protection. Daniels to throw on third and five. Incomplete. St. Brown couldn't come up with it, and so the Trojans are going to have to punt it back to Washington State with 5.45 on the clock. So first and 15, they're going to run it with Williams. Tried to cut it back, and he appeared to slip. Down at the 27-yard line. Got a handful of it back. Minshew with time. Floats it downfield. Caught on a touchdown-saving tackle by Hufanga. Calvin pulled it in, and he would have probably gone the distance, as it is a 24-yard game. Yeah, look at the space over the middle of the field. Four minutes on the clock. Williams picks a hole. Down the right hole. Gain of six. Pressure coming. Minshew leaves the pocket, throws back shoulder. Williams caught it. What a grab. James Williams on his back, sliding on a play, secured the ball. Now this angle will really tell the story, as you can see whether or not those laces move upon impact with the ground. God, I don't like that Man. rule, guys. I think it makes it very difficult on the officials to say that the ball can hit the ground as long as you have control. That creates a ton of gray area. Yeah, it does. To make it close. After review, the ruling on the field stands. First down, Washington State. Yep. And 45 is the best option of that for the Trojans right now. Here's Williams getting the carry. Down to the 21-yard line. Just outside two minutes to go. They're going to run it with Williams, and he's not going to get it. In fact, he's brought down at the point of attack. Cameron Smith and Dorton in there. And it's blocked! Seven, eight. 
Jay Tufele got a paw on it to knock it down. As the left guard actually falls down. And he's unblocked. And that big six foot three frame stretches as long as it'll go as the ball is blocked and you can see the reaction and the agony on the Washington State sideline. What a play by the red shirt freshman to Fele. If USC is aggressive and gets the first down, the game's over. See how they handle it, second and eight. Yeah, they're in their goal line set with Nealon, the backup center in the game at fullback. Malapai breaks a tackle, will come up just short of the first down. It'll be third and about two. Expect that run to the left right here. Lead. Brett Neal on the fullback. And it's a first down and a win for USC. Malapai to the 40-yard line. Washington State cannot stop the clock. JT Daniels going to keep that ball his first Pac-12 win. A remarkable performance by JT Daniels. Wasn't perfect, but he weathered the storm. And man, in the fourth quarter, when they had to have it, he was at his best.